Hello everybody and welcome back to The Reset. My name is C-Dubs and here I am with yet another gaming review video. And this one's actually pretty cool. So a couple days ago, I decided I was going to go ahead and fire up the stream and just try and get back into the swing of things. Well, I've got this game called A Robot Named Fight. I bought this ages ago, probably around Christmas time. They had that massive indie sale going on and I picked it up for no more than $5. I can't give you the exact price, but it was no more than $5. And so I actually got around to playing it two, three days ago, somewhere in that ballpark. But long story short, I was expecting just a, a Metroidvania, right? I was delightfully surprised whenever I found out that it was also a roguelite. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the action here. It's a very straightforward, simple, stu simple twin stick shooter. And... Uh, there's nothing overly complicated about it and in true roguelite fashion you do get to pick up things along the way so I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna jump in here this we're gonna go into an existing game here and then later I'm gonna go ahead and fire up a stream and start doing some short form content on this game because I absolutely fell in love with it I almost dropped the uh, almost like dropped playing the damn thing too after like five minutes of being in the game simply because the uh, it's not a very intuitive way of telling you how to do things and I didn't know that it was a roguelite but you can see like cracks in the wall you have to make sure that you're shooting walls and every little bit of uh, debris possible see you can see the cracks in the grates here that's a destructible surface and these starting points they change so much so you'll never get the same starting spot more than more than twice in like 10 runs I think so that's something to keep in in mind so it says four times four shall open the door so that's probably a hint to later on in the game I haven't even gotten that far I just I played this for maybe an hour hour and a half on stream and then I just went ham on it for like two hours off stream like I fell in love with the game it can be mildly frustrating because the controls are they're a little squirrely I'm not gonna lie you really gotta make sure you don't overcompensate for your jumping and whatnot and the damage is unforgiving however there are a lot of health pickups and what oh sheesh a lot of health pickups you can get along the way which will make your life a little bit easier and it's extremely generous and it plays exactly like old school old school Metroid we're talking NES version to where you go through you blow crap up they even have the doors if you look right here you shoot that door and it opens like the exact same gameplay style it's just dressed up in a different skin and with uh, roguelite elements and like slightly RPG too which is actually really cool if you look where my character is standing over there on the left hand side there's a series of let me see if I can get in a better light here there's a series of icons scrolling down the left side followed by zeros and then in parentheses there are other stat numbers so the what I'm gathering I, I don't quite know for sure but what I understand is by every icon is your current run stat bonus and then on the right hand side those are your permanent skill multipliers so you can stack up from previous runs and apply them to future runs and basically become this unstoppable force of just blood and gore basically the storyline is kinda it's an intriguing take on things uh, there is an intro section that tells you like it's a little 30 30 to 45 second snippet of kind of what the basis of the game is but uh, yeah man it's it's a lot of fun it'll keep you on your toes for sure and it it just scratches every itch man oh shit okay but it'll just scratch every itch man and the idea is you just go as far and as long as you possibly can and we'll just go ahead and try and give you guys a little bit of a taste here I think I've gotten to I've gotten to beat two bosses so far on this current uh, game file that I have and then I was able to also get to the like halfway through the second section from what I gather I again I don't know all the details I, I just got to play in this damn thing and I got so fired up about it and I was like man like I think I'm gonna go ahead and just put a gaming review on out there because like it's a cheap game it's it's easy to get a hold of and it doesn't take itself seriously and again the reason why I like roguelites especially simple roguelites is because they don't they do what they do and they do it very well and they don't overreach this hits that perfect blend and it's extremely affordable a great little time killer I'm gonna be doing quite a bit of gameplay on this like I said before and uh, just trying to like cut little bits and pieces out to make my own kind of tutorial if you will so let's see how far we can actually get let's just let's just get down to business here 
I won't go more than 10 minutes in the video, I promise. But, oh, I may not even last that long. There we go. You got to watch out for these. These guys here are the biggest problem. <laughs> All right, there we go. You don't have to kill them, but, you know, if you're running low on health, you might as well take your chance because you may not get that health back unless you're just popping shots at everybody. So let's see. We're going to... Oh, and you can see shit going on in the background, too. It's so cool. Like, it's it's a very atmospheric game. And I love, like, at first I was like, oh, man, the graphics are awesome. But I kid you not. So when I say I was about to drop the game, so I didn't realize that it was a roguelike. And so with roguelikes, there are what they call seeds. And the randomly generated seed that I got, it was not, it was not clear on what I had to do. And so I didn't realize that pretty much any surface is destructible and so i got trapped in the beginning i couldn't get out i was sitting there and <laughs> i was even on stream and i was like man i'm just gonna drop this game like i don't even know what i'm supposed to be doing and then it just clicked man i don't know what happened it just i started realizing what was going on and ever then ever since then man i just i've just been hooked bro see this is another one this is another instance where not exactly sure what to do you can't crouch there, so we got to go up, I'm sure, and then probably destroy this wall. I th if this, nope, that's not it either. See, you got to really figure it out. There's nothing that can be taken for granted in this game, which is kind of cool in and of itself. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think we're going to be able to do much there, so we're going to have to go back. There's another door right here. Go up here. Let's see what happens. But as you go along, you'll pick up different items and different uh, different power-ups. And certain stats that you pick up will roll over to the next gameplay. And there's certain items that you can unlock, but you won't get right away. They just, like true roguelike fashion, they will unlock at a later point at a, at a random location. So it's actually kind of cool, man. So let's see here. See, again, I'm a little stuck here. But I'm thinking... No... No. Hmm. All right, so we can't go there yet. Let's go ahead and head down. There's another door over here. And it's a lot of guesswork, man. I mean, that's just that's what roguelites do. They make you use your your noodle a little bit and get to chipping away at what's supposed to be happening. Oh, hi. Hey, coming down there, bud. There we go. So let's go ahead. I don't think there's any secrets in here. So yeah, it's it's just really cool, man. It's like they took the, the secret walls. Oh, as you can see, we have ourselves a power-up. What do we get? You got slide. Oh, cool. So that's how we're going to get through that next room. See, I didn't even know that existed. I didn't even know that existed until now. And it's like you'll get certain certain weapon types and you'll get certain upgrades but there's no fixed format in the order of which you get them you just get them based on what the seed dictates from you so i'm going to go ahead and leave it there we'll go ahead and play this out and i'll show you the main screen and uh like the little unlock section just to kind of end it on the right note Done, done, done. We'll go ahead and exit. Press A. We're going to go back into here. Let's go to achievements and collections. So achievements, this is like, this is stuff that I've noticed. You kill a certain amount of enemies. Like, let's say you kill 50 enemies and you unlock the bright shell. Um, there's also boss achievements that give you other items. And it, the list is very, it, it's actually a very big list. There's a lot of content here. And then you go to the collection. And this is stuff that you acquire through, kind of like I just got the slide action. This is stuff you acquire through exploration in the, in the realm itself. And again, the list is just massive. So if you guys have five bucks or you find it on sale, I think it's actually, I think the original price is only like 13 bucks, 15 bucks, something like that. So it's an extremely affordable game and you don't have to think a lot. Very straightforward. If you're into retro gaming or love Metroidvanias just in general, I highly, highly recommend that you get this game. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the support I've been getting. I got a lot more gaming review videos coming out soon and be sure to subscribe to my my channel because I do have a lot of content planned both on here on the reset and over on my broken sleep gaming so make sure you don't miss out thank you guys again so much and I'll see y'all in the next video